Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here with an unboxing from Joshua Ferris at Art of Darts. You can see the website here and I'll also put that down in the description. If the name sounds familiar, it's because he's the same one who produced the t-shirt that I recently had the giveaway for. So He also sells isopods and dart frogs and related items on the website. So It looks like I need to Sharpen this knife just a bit. Go. I misplaced my box opener, I'm afraid. Alright, let's see what we've got here. The uh, Phase 22 pack, still solid, indicating it did not get hot during the Travel. Oh, I like that. It's a pretty cool deal. Get a 12% off to send the box back and help to reuse. Love that. Oh, cool. <laughs> A rubber ducky keychain. Love it. That was very cool. Didn't know that was coming. Thank you. And here's the permit documentation. Looks like there's also an invoice uh, attached to this. And there is the Return label, cool. All right. Here's the business card, Art of Darts. You can see the email address there, QR code, everything like that. Oh, look at that, Porcello Bolivari. Nice photo. Oh, cool. Rubber Ducky sticker. I have the t shirt with this. A variation of this design you may have seen in some of my videos. So that is awesome. All right. Let's find out what we've got first here. First isopod. I'm going to open up. Hmm, very nicely packed. This is Porcelione de Sprinos' Orange Cream. Oh, a nice generous count, 20 plus count there. Let's, let's take a look at some of these. They're very active. Nice. I've been working on producing some of my own. I, I bought some from uh, Kyle Kendillian at Roach Crossing some time ago and they did really well. We were proliferating and then I'm afraid I lost the culture. So I began producing my own somewhere around that time and I'm still culling them out but I figured I'd get some of these and once I'm finished completely isolating mine I'll have two different strains going on. But let's check these out and put them in their enclosure. All right, let's see how this is looking there. You can see there's already a good deal of springtail activity in this enclosure. I always try to set them up in advance and use some some cultured material. This is uh, there's some moss here that was from an older enclosure that did not have isopods in it, so that I could seed it with the microbial populations needed, whatnot. And since uh, prenoses tend to be pretty fast runners, I'm gonna make sure I open this right over the enclosure there. Oh, bumped it. Get a good look at those. You see there's a lot of variation. Some look almost like little orange dairy cows, which is awesome since that seems to be uh, a morph that has eluded us so far. We get it in a miniature ver version in, in a sense different species, different genus even, but similar appearance to what a dairy cow would look like if it had an orange morph. I do love that there's some leaf litter in here for them to eat, as well as a piece of sweet potato. Nice generous count in here. There's an individual that's almost completely orange. Not uncommon. Most of them are very, very well pied. Some really nice expression in here. 
of a good size too, already uh, reproductive age, some younger ones in there. Uh, All right, let's see what we got here. Kind of makes it fun that they're wrapped up and you don't get to see what the name is. These are Armadillidium Werneri Orange. Awesome. If you haven't seen these, they're pretty fabulous. They're a little bit like Klugei, but larger. And the, the orange strain, of course, they have more rows of white spots. Very cool. So let's get there and these into their enclosure as well. As you can see here, I already have an established colony with some adults and some young ones in here. Springtails are going well. Uh, and I wanted to add some more. It's a fairly new colony, so it's not going to hurt to add some more stock to it. Look at how beautiful they are. I love the two-toned orange. Got the darker orange in the middle. You can see the the five lines of spots there. And then the lighter orange skirt. And of course there's some variation in individuals. Ooh, that one's gonna take off. So here we go. I'm gonna put the leaf litter and the piece of looks like maybe sweet potato there down. And then since the most of this looks like moss, I'll just add that to my hydration station. And let those little guys do their thing. Looks like some of them have already made their way under the cork bark hide there. Absolutely gorgeous isopods. Before I open this last deli cup, I'd like to take a moment to think my supporters on patreon.com. There's so much that you do, you may not even realize as a patron how much you do to help support this channel. I really appreciate all of your efforts. If you would like to help support Aquarimax Pets on Patreon, you can do so for as little as a dollar a month, which equates to about 3.3 cents a day. And there are other tiers as well. One thing that I love to do for my patrons is to post um, live stream notifications a bit early and give them a chance to ask questions so if they're not able to attend the live stream that I am able to address their questions as much as possible. So if you're interested in becoming a patron, I'd love to have you. You can go to patreon.com and search for Aquarimax or you can just check out the link that I put at the end of each video and in the description. Now let's open these last uh, isopods. Armadillidium nasatum rust. I hadn't even heard of these until I saw the Art of Darts list. Oh, there's one right there. Let's get a closer look at these as we put them away. So nasatum rust has some interesting things going on. It seems to be a little bit like Armadillidium vulgare Santa Lucia or Porcelio Levis Cali mix in that it throws different uh, colors and I'm interested to, to learn a bit more about that. I need to ask more about it. But as far as the locality, if th this is a locality that was discovered like this or if uh, Joshua just noticed that this this in another group or what what happened but it th seems to throw wild types and oranges and reds and just various different colors so i'm interested in working with it i really love that kind of thing you know porcelio levis cali mix and armadillidium vulgari punticana and santa lucia that kind of thing so i'm really interested to uh, work with this whether this is a morph or locality i'm not sure and i should have asked but you can see there's quite a bit of variation in the individuals some wild types, more orange, different stuff going on. So I am excited to work with it. Let's put these little ones down in here. And I really want to 
Thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with uh, live streams on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.